Hey, what's going on everybody? It's the Political Brown Kid here. And I just kind of wanted to do this video um, just kind of talking about some of the pros and cons of the experiences that I've been having, you know, just kind of sum it up, you know, again, just kind of a little retrospective here. I know I did that before, but I kind of want to just do it again just because I've been thinking about it. Um, so let me just start off with the, the things that I did like about just my dating experience so far, even though it's really hasn't been proven fruitful. Um, the one thing I can say is that the women that I did match with and that I actually got a chance to either talk to on the phone or actually go out on dates with, even though, you know, I, I spent money and time and it didn't produce anything, I can say for the most part, at least the, the women were pleasant um, that I went out with. I had, um, it, it was enjoyable company. They were civilized. I didn't have any of those experiences where people were taking pictures of food or just doing social media type posts, you know, doing those type of clout things. You know, we actually did have good conversation. I even had one woman when I opened her door, she would reach over and unlock mine, even though it was unnecessary because, you know, my, my car automatically unlocks with my key fob. But she was at least nice and considerate enough, enough to do that. Um, the women were, you know, um, pretty articulate, intelligent, um, and just overall nice people. So that's the one thing that I did like about the dating experience. Um, and also, too, like I said, it just gave me practice, you know, being out of the game for quite some time. It gave me practice in interacting with people, um, good conversation, um, you know, good experience, just somebody to hang out in the streets with and, you know, take your mind off of other things where, you know, sometimes life can, you know, get you down. If you all don't know, I kind of go in and out of, you know, depressed state um, just due to the, the confinement, really. And, you know, the, just previous situations. But, you know, it, I think that those things did help me. The things that I don't like about um, my dating experience so far has been, um, you know, I did run into some women that were challenges. Um, I think a while ago, I told y'all I mentioned a lawyer. I actually ran into two lawyers. Um, one lawyer was, you know, basically demanding a soft life. That was the last one that I ran into. The first one I ran into, she was just angry at everything I said. Um, you know, I called, you know, my secretary, which was her title at the time, a secretary, and she got mad at me at that. And that's when she really blew up and just started going in. And I was just kind of like, wow, I didn't know the word secretary was so wrong. But she called me, you know, a, a male chauvinist for saying it. And um, amongst other words, she had some, uh, she gave like a 10 minute ramble where she just read me, you know, my riot act or whatever you want to call it. She went in on me super hard. But outside of those two, for the most part, and like I said, I did run into, I ran into some escorts online, which was kind of crazy. But in hindsight and thinking about it, it's just kind of like, well, that's the perfect place to be. Guys are looking for women. That's where you need to be. I didn't take them up on their offer, but you know, that, you know, running into those kind of things where I didn't like. I think the biggest thing, though, that I didn't like about um, the dating process is just the selective nature of the women um, in terms of what they wanted to do or what they wanted from you. Uh, and what I mean by that is this. It kind of goes hand in hand with my, the other comment that I'm going to say. So maybe I should say that one now as well. The other thing, too, is that when things don't work out, this is the other thing that I don't like. Um, that when things don't work out between two individuals, they just stop communicating with you altogether. It's just like, OK, I'm done moving on. I'm moving on with my life. And maybe they have enough friends that they don't need to hang out with me. They don't need to socialize with me. They're like, I'm not trying to keep a man around as a friend. But um, that was just my experience. And the reason why I said I couple that with the selective um, convenience of what they want to do is because, like I said, there were times when there were a few females that we actually got along, had great time, great fun together. But then, you know, when things just, I guess they didn't work out, they just went away and they just stopped calling. I had one female. This is a another example. She was on. Um, uh, uh, she was a chick, um, nice, nice looking female. And she was very 
she was kind of weird. I'm going to be honest with you. She was kind of weird just as far as communicating with her. But she was enjoyable, if, if that makes sense. She was weird, but she, overall, she was an enjoyable person because she went with the flow on things. Um, and she didn't mind listening to me talk. You know, she mostly wanted to hear me talk. And, you know, I don't mind running my mouth. But the thing that I found weird about her was this. She actually liked me. We actually, like, she liked me on one pro. Um, this has been going on for over a year, too. She liked me on one pro. Two years, actually. She liked me on one um, platform. Then she stopped speaking to me. We lost contact. Then she liked me on another platform. We started speaking again. And then we hung out for a little bit. Then it faded. Then she liked me again on another platform. Sent me a like. I keep falling for the bait. And, you know, we talk, hang out. Then it wasn't like I had to spend a bunch of money on her. So it wasn't really about the money. But she just kept liking and... We would hang out, talk for about a, a month or whatever, and then she'd go away, and I would ping her, and she was like, no, everything's fine, you know, I'm just going through some things. So she would just do this kind of stuff. So just recently, just this just happened just two weeks ago. I'm on this other platform, another platform, um, and she sent me a like. This time, she did something different. Sent me a like, so I said, hey, and I put her name in there, I said, Cause I'm like, maybe she doesn't remember me and maybe she doesn't remember that we just stopped talking. I don't know. So I sent her, I sent her a message. I said, Hey, you know, you popped back up. I'm glad you sent me a like, you know? And I said, you know, but, and I said, I still have your numbers. If you, if, so if you don't mind, you know, I can give you a call, you know, and you know, we can, you know, resume talking again. Then she just unmatched with me. <laughs> so, but my thing is at least respond. See, that's the thing. My thing is with women, they don't want to take like, you know, they they talk about how they get ghosted, but they do the same. They ignore people altogether. They they do something just as worse. They treat us like we're invisible. So my thing is she should have at least said, oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, you know, well, unfortunately, you know, man, you just don't work out. So bye. And she could have just said something like that. You know, just acknowledge me and say, OK, you know, hey, oh, that's you. How you been? You know, hey, you know, but unfortunately, you know, me and you can just be friends or, you know, it's all good. She just unmatched, deleted the whole thread and just went away. And it happened to with another female. And this female, actually, um, if y'all remember me talking about her, she was like five foot eight. So this was the one that was kind of disappointed when she saw me. And that's when I did have a weight on me. So that was my fault for dating real early. Um, But she... um. Me and her, I saw her on a platform and I said, hey, you know, I reached back out and I was just kind of like, because at this point in time, I actually needed someone to hang out with because I had tickets to an event. I actually had tickets to do two different events and I'm going to explain this. So she actually um, was for one. I buy two tickets sometimes because I'm like, man, you know, just in case I meet someone, I can have somebody to hang out with. So I bought two tickets and so I had an event coming up. Matter of fact, the event is coming up. So I was just kind of like, hey, you know, it'd be nice if, you know, me and you just hang out. I said, I, I sent her a message. I said, I know we didn't work out the first time, but, you know, maybe, you know, this time, you know, but maybe we can just be friends and hang out, you know, and, you know, just, you know, just hang out together sometimes if you're ever bored or, you know, you're not doing anything. Because I wanted to take her to this event, you know, because she seemed pretty straight up when we were hanging out. She didn't respond. She just didn't even respond. And then the other female, um, I had tickets for, I actually had tickets for a game and I actually had, um, near, not really courtside. I was, you know, a couple of rows up from the floor sitting at center court. And so I actually had tickets for an event, but she's the type, once again, as long as we're going out eating or doing something like that, has no problem hanging out. And then when I asked her one time, that, hey, just come on over for your lunch break or after work because she worked right near my house. I said, you can just come through and hang out with me. Oh, I can do that at my house. I can do that at my house. So I was just kind of, I left it alone. So I reached out to her um, because I had these tickets. I reached out to her. She didn't even ping me back. So it was just kind of like, OK, well, she always wanted to do something. And, you know, and I, I reached out. Didn't even do anything. So I had two tickets. So I wound up going by myself. Once again, empty seat. And the third event was, I just met this other female. 
Uh, this was about probably about two weeks ago that this happened. So I just pinged her because she and I had a good time. You know, we hung out, had a good time. Um, and so I just pinged her because the weather was nice. So I was just like, hey, it's a nice day. You know, hey, I, you know, I was like, man, you, you coming through and hang out. We can go, you know, hang out and just hit the streets and enjoy the weather. And then she was just like, I didn't know we planned anything. And I'm kind of, so, so then that's when I texted her back. And then um, she started talking about, I thought you would like to look for discount meals and you like getting a, and I said, I don't even know what you're talking about. Like, where's all this coming from? I, I was just like, I just asked you to hang out because the weather was nice. I know we don't have anything planned, but the weather's nice. I'm just hitting you to see if you're available. If you're not available, then don't worry about it. But if you are available, then let's go hang out. If, if you want to, let's hang out. And I'm just trying to figure out where to, where to talk about the free meals and the discounts and all this other stuff. Came. I'm like, who are you? Are you talking to the right guy about the right guy? I have no idea. But that's the thing that I don't like that they do. It's, you know, once they're done, if, they, if it's not going to lead to anything romantically, I guess, then they just move on. And once again, like I said, I made it clear that, hey, I'm not hitting on you. This is just hanging out in the streets because once again... You know, I have friends, my friends are married, so they have lives. They don't have time to consume taking me out. We get together, like I say, you know, we get together frequently, but you know, they have their own lives. So my thing is, I'm just looking for somebody to talk to, hang out with, have a good time with. And these, they're, they're not even trying to be bothered. So that's the one side that I don't like. But um, that's all I wanted to just bring up. So once again, this is the Political Brown Kid. If you have any comments on this, maybe any tips, advice, I don't know, definitely feel free to leave them in the um, comment section. Also hit the like and subscribe button. But once again, this is the Political Brown Kid. Take care.